Good evening. I hope you all had a wonderful Tuesday today. We had some beautiful weather here in the mountains, so I hope everybody had a chance to get out and enjoy it a little bit today. So I wanted to share a picture with you. This is a picture of our living cross that we have every Easter at the Methodist Church. And you can see just how beautiful all those flowers are. We had a group of people who worked very hard Saturday to put this together so that it would be a symbol of Easter as well as a symbol of hope. And there's a lot of different flowers. I love flowers and there's some of my favorite flowers on there. There's daisies and asters and there's even some beautiful roses up in there. And roses are one of my favorite flowers in every house that um, Mr. Murphy and I have ever lived in, which has been three different houses, we've had a rose garden that I've put in and I just love working on them. And I went out today and was doing some deadwooding on my plants. And here's a piece of the rose that I've had to cut off. It's dead wood. So I wanted to cut it off so that the new live wood could grow better and have beautiful flowers this summer. But look at all these thorns. One thing I learned very quickly when we were first married and I started planting roses, which you, you have to use very special gloves so that if you grab these, they don't stick you because these will hurt and they cause you to bleed. And as I was thinking about the thorns that I was cutting and the roses that would be growing later in the summer, I was reminded of part of the crucifixion story. And it's in Matthew 27 verses 28 through 31. It says, they stripped Jesus and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. And I got to thinking about that, about that crown of thorns and that they put that crown of thorn on his head and how that would have hurt because these thorns are very, very sharp and that would have been a lot of pain. But then I got to thinking about it. These thorns can be pretty painful, but at the top, it grows the most beautiful flower. And sometimes we have a lot of pain in our life. Sometimes it's pain like you're sad because somebody died, or maybe because you've gotten really sick, or maybe it's just because you're really sad because you can't go to school and see your friends and you have to stay at home all the time right now. So there's a lot of things that are thorns in life, but the best thing about the thorns is they grow the most beautiful roses. And after the thorns come, great beauty. So it's kind of like, right now where we're having a lot of sadness because we're having to all be at home, but eventually we're going to have some rose kind of days when we can all be back together and see each other and maybe even hug each other and smile and laugh and have a good time together. So I was going to try to always remember that even with the thorns, we have those beautiful roses. So let us pray. Dear father in heaven, thank you for the gift of today. Thank you for beautiful roses and prickly, prickly thorns. Help us to remember that even during thorny times, you are there with us, watching over us, protecting us and loving us so that we can overcome and enjoy the rosy times. Keep watch over all of us as we sleep tonight and as we play, learn and enjoy tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I hope you always remember that even in those thorny times, Jesus is there for you. Hope you have a great night's sleep and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight.